Unfortunately, human trafficking is a problem here, just like anywhere else in the world, anywhere else in the United States. We see a lot of kids and adults being trafficked for sex. So new clients are always going to get a welcome bag with fidget items, toiletry items, comfort things. Uh, they'll get colored pencils, therapeutic coloring books, journals, and they're going to get a cozy quilt from community members that have just something to wrap them in love and security. Stuffed animal. Lots of things to help comfort them on this process of something new, freedom and healing. The unfortunate reality is that it's happening every day, nonstop, to kids in our community. Just last month there were eight new people that we found um, and helped to find freedom for in the month of December in the midst of COVID. We have music therapists and trauma-informed movement classes. We have people that come in and do music classes and lessons just to help build that self-confidence and give another area of interest as the survivors are learning to understand themselves, who they are, what they like and dislike, and really discovering all of that about themselves for the first time. It's kind of fun watching, and I love watching that confidence boost as they hear that beautiful music coming out of a guitar that they're playing large sporting events or other large events have more demand for partying and purchasing of people so more product is brought in and in this case that's human beings and quite often children so what we see locally um, what we did see was our biggest event for the tri-cities was boat races so that's where we used to focus most so it's not that it's not happening otherwise it happens every single day trauma-informed movement really um, has a lot of studies behind it on the healing powers behind that as we get reconnected with our body and learn coping skills. Another self-empowerment thing is getting some self-defense lessons, another physical way of getting some healing, but also empowering and feeling stronger on could I protect myself if needed. Um, people can actually scan a barcode and pay for that person after they're done abusing them. It's so easy for them to get groomed and used and abused online right there in your own home. So parents seeing some of that where the kid is becoming very obsessed with their screen time, very private about that is another big sign. The art therapy, the art outlet is extremely healing, uh, uses that other side of the brain and helps uh, release and relax some things so that they can start dealing with some of the bigger trauma memories that they have as they work with the clinicals. Um, counselors, they've got, they've, they're preparing the soil before they go in to talk to the counselor by loosening up some of those memories and some of that trauma. So when COVID first started, we knew we needed to keep services going because um, so much of this is just real triggering, well, for all of us, but even more so for a trafficking victim. The isolation, the the strange rules you don't understand, but you have to follow all of that. So we were able to pivot by doing things online, such as art therapy and music therapy and baking classes. So we would bring, um, everybody had their headphones, their devices to be able to listen and watch on. And then we would bring to their doorsteps bags with the supplies in them. Thanks to United Way, we've been able to, especially during this COVID season, re connect in different ways so that we can keep those processes, keep those healing therapeutic services available when people are so desperately needing them. And then now, thanks to the new United Way grant, we're able to keep those therapeutic services growing and, um, and getting stronger so that we keep seeing more and more victims come through to become survivors, to become people who are thriving and strong community members.